The minister pointed out that it is evidence that the 35,000 Naira wage award agreed on for six months has been paid to federal government workers. As states are also encouraged to do the same. Also, four months of standing salaries of ASU, as approved by the president, have been fully paid to its members. An action is ongoing to address that of other unions in the academic environment. So far, more than 3 million households, including vulnerable pensioners, benefited from the 25,000 monthly conditional cash transfer. And a key step taken to improve take home of workers was the inauguration of a 37 member tripartite committee on national minimum wage. The committee, she says, has held two meetings already, while the suspension of collection of value added tax VAT on diesel for six months beginning from October 2023 was effected immediately. The minister also notes that financial commitment has been made on the provision of CNG buses and conversion kits, with a good number of buses set to be rolled out soon. Stakeholders are also engaged on tax incentives to businesses. Distribution of subsidized fertilizer was one of the major components of the October 2nd Memorandum of Understanding. This, the minister notes, government has made tremendous progress in this regard. Meanwhile, plans are in top gear to accelerate the process of job creation through the release of funds to micro and small scale businesses. Furthermore, a joint visitation by government and organized labor to the refineries was agreed on and that the Minister of Labor and Employment says was successfully carried out on the 21st of February 2024 where it was also established that the Port Harcourt refinery is 80% completed. Another content of the October agreement was the leadership crisis rocking NURTW and written. Government waded into the matter and the issues are amicably resolved with the transporters operating their businesses peacefully. Though implementation of many of the agreements reached with labor leaders may take longer time, the Minister of State Labor and Employment believes the substantial progress made demonstrates government commitment in honoring the signed October 2nd agreement. In Abuja, Joseph Utsen, NTA News. And meanwhile, Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TEC, says it will not participate in the planned nationwide protest by the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC. At the press conference in Abuja, President of the Union, Festus Osifo, says TEC has examined the situation in the country and has drawn out solutions that it will engage the federal government with. Joseph Otsen again reports. Persistent devaluation of the Naira and increasing security challenges in many parts of the country to the Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, are the major causes of the current economic situation in the country. You could check and recall that between July and October, what simply happened was that there was an instruction from the financial managers to the bank chief executives telling them that all bid that is much more than 790 should be rejected. And that was how we maintained that exchange rate. We stabilized that exchange rate within that period. So what we are demanding is that we can also do something like that. The union wants government to hasten implementation of national minimum wage to boost purchasing power of Nigerians to drive the economy. If the minimum wage is not increased, if the, if the masses doesn't have money to purchase, the manufacturer warehouse will be filled because you don't have money to buy. Other solutions to the union is for the Nigerian Customs Service to reduce rate of import on some manufacturing and agricultural products, and if possible, a waiver. While advocating for consumption of made in Nigerian goods, the Labour Centre urges government to pay more attention on curbing crude oil theft to increase production in the country among other issues.